The M2 Bradley infantry fighting vehicle is not a tank, but troops do call it a tank killer. In Ukraine, Bradleys are getting credit for holding back Russian advances, and new video from the front lines shows just how appropriate the Bradley's nickname really is. This video from Ukraine's 47th Mechanized Brigade shows a Russian T-90 tank called a Breakthrough and supposedly a peer to the American-made Abrams, but the only things breaking through are the rounds from a pair of Bradleys using 25mm Bushmaster autocannons. The Bushmaster can fire armor-piercing Sabo or high-explosive rounds. Based on this footage, it's likely the T-90 was on the receiving end of some AP ammo, which led to a nice cook-off on the tank. Another angle of the encounter shows the T-90 trying to escape after that secondary explosion. Its turret is seen spinning erratically before it hits a tree and the crew tries to bail out. Even two against one, though, the T-90 should have been able to make quick work of the Bradleys, at least on paper and if you believe the Russian propaganda, which you absolutely should not. Even though the whole world can see the video for themselves, Russian propagandists tried to spin the encounter as a victory for the T-90. The truth is, the video is just the latest proof Bradleys are likely the best armored vehicles Ukraine has. And after nearly two years of intense fighting, Ukraine may have some of the best Bradley operators in the world. The U.S. sent Ukraine around 200 of the IFEs. All of them are operated exclusively by the 47th Mechanized Brigade. In addition to the Bushmaster autocannon, Bradleys are also equipped with a pair of tow, wire-guided anti-tank missile launchers that can hit targets up to almost 5,000 yards. Bradleys are also equipped with thermal sensors, so day or night, they're on the hunt. Most Russian armored vehicles do not have thermal sensors, which is partially why stories of a single M2 Bradley taking out multiple Russian armored vehicles is not necessarily that uncommon. In December, near Avdivka, a single Bradley was sent to deal with three Russian armored vehicles. According to the 47th Mechanized Brigade, the attack was over before it began. Now, the Bradley is not invincible. Russia destroyed at least 31 so far in the war, but no amount of Russian propaganda can dispel the truth that Bradleys are keeping Ukraine in the war.